Welcome back to the Thrill of Driving School. In today's episode, we are going to show you how to do the J-turn or what's also called the reverse 180 or the reverse flick. Now, why do you use a J-turn? Strictly speaking, this is a defensive driving technique. Say you come up onto a roadblock laid by some unsavory elements and you have to get out of there super quick. What you do is you use the J-turn. How it works? Put it into reverse, obviously, hand on the other side of the steering wheel, reverse fast, then flick the steering around, put it into first and go for it. That's how the J-turn works. How do you do it? That's what we're going to show you in this video tutorial. But before we go any further, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. And if you like our Thrill of Driving series, like this video and also give us a shout out on social media. We are on Evo India and you can also check out my personal handle at Sirish Chandran for more fun automotive content. To demonstrate the J-turn today, we have the Hyundai Verna. Now, this was recently updated and as you can see, it gets a fresh new face. Also gets enthusiastic motors and what we have is the 1.5 petrol. Makes 113 bhp of power, 144 newton meters of torque and this car is the manual transmission. Second thing to note, location. As everybody keeps saying, location, location, location. Please do not try this on a public road. Do not make a nuisance of yourself and do not put others at danger. And especially for a J-turn, what you need to find is a wide open stretch of tarmac, especially with nothing to hit on either side if you do get it wrong. We are at the newly resurfaced Curry Motor Speedway in Coimbatore. Plenty of space, plenty of runoff to show you how to do the J-turn safely. Start by getting familiar with the car. Now, first things first, I like to sit nice and low. The Verna has height adjustable seats, so that is nice. Second thing, the Verna gets seat coolers. You might as well switch it on and stay cool because you need your mind to focus on what you're doing. Get a good driving position. There's a nice bend in your arm, so the steering wheel is good. Always wear your seat belt and focus, concentrate. Now let's break down the J-turn. First thing is, where do you look and how to look? Now, there are two schools of thought to it. One of them is you turn your head towards the rear and turn back properly. Now, I would normally have recommended that, but in this case, a lot of cars, you can't really turn your head and see much. In fact, you can see better out of the rear view mirror and the wing mirrors. That will be better. Now, the second is the steering and where do you put your hand on the steering? I recommend that you start off with the left turn because you know we are right-handed most of us are right-handed and in any case you need your left hand on the gear lever so right hand and have it at seven o'clock on the steering wheel what you need to do with the steering is give it a violent swing not a gentle turn not not like this you need to give it a violent swing and that violence is what unsettles the front and gets it to swing around so I'll repeat that, your hand, your right hand on 7 o'clock on the steering wheel and then swing it. So that will induce the J-turn. Number three, your gear lever. You can do this with a manual car or with an automatic, does not matter. You obviously have to start off with reverse. When you're at 90 degrees, so you're straight ahead, you're reversing, you fling it. When you're at 90 degrees, that's when you get it out of reverse and into neutral. Another thing with your clutch. When you're starting the J-turn itself, dip the clutch is better. So then you don't have to think about the clutch through the rest of the J-turn. So you are in reverse, you swing it to 90. At 90, you put it into neutral. And then when you're straightening up, you put it into first gear. And when you're straight, gas it and you go. So that is on the gear lever. And the fourth point is on speed. You need speed because if you're slow, that's when your tires will actually grip and it might cause problems for yourself. So rule of thumb is accelerate smartly. Don't accelerate gently. Accelerate smartly. Count down from three. So accelerate three, two, one. Swing the steering wheel and your J-turn is complete. So you need speed. If you have a little too much speed, you can always scrub it with the brakes. But if you have too little speed, you might get into trouble. And now let's demonstrate it. First things first. Set your mirrors because you're looking back through the mirrors. Second, hands, seven o'clock on the steering wheel. You obviously have to stick it in reverse and leave your left hand on the gear lever so that it doesn't go and fiddle around with the handbrake because you don't have to touch the handbrake. Don't touch the handbrake. So left hand on the gear lever, right hand on the steering wheel, looking through the mirrors, accelerate, 
Hard. Three, two, one. Swing, clutch. First dip and accelerate out. So that's how you do the J turn. Now it looks simple, and once you get the hang of the technique, it actually is simple. Let me break down the swing to you. Now, like I said, you have to put some speed. 30 to 50 kilometers per hour, that is the sweet spot in terms of speed. Don't do it slower, say at 20, it's not going to happen and it actually will feel dangerous at 20. So get used to the car reversing at some speed. I'll repeat that again, 30 to 50 kilometers per hour, that's the speed that you need. You're not going to look at the speedometer, so you just count down, accelerate, launch smartly, 3 to 1 and then swing. Now, when you launch smartly and you're accelerating, what happens is the weight transfers to the front because you're reversing at speed. Then you let off the gas aggressively. What that does is when you let off the gas aggressively, your weight, which is on the front, actually now shifts to the rear. So your front becomes light. Then you swing the steering wheel simultaneously. So your front has got light and then you swung the steering wheel and you swung the steering wheel violently like this. You swung it violently, you've not done uh, or, uh, you're not done all of that, okay? You swung the steering wheel violently and that makes the nose, which is already light, swing around. And that's how the J-turn is done. What do you do with the gears? You're in reverse. You dip the clutch when you start the J-turn, so then you forget about the clutch. As you're at 90, you put it into neutral and when you're straightening out, you're in first and you gas it. Give it the beans, look smart when you're getting out. You're looking at the mirrors, so that's where you're looking. You're not touching the handbrake and you're not touching the brake because you don't need the brake for the J-turn. So you're in reverse, hands at seven o'clock, accelerate smartly, three, two, one, fling. Neutral first, gas, out. That's how you do the J-turn. So you obviously will have questions. Now, obvious question is, what do you do with the brakes? You don't touch the brakes. Where do you look? You look in the mirrors. How do you correct the steering wheel? Because you're swinging it around and you're straightening it. You just done one swing and then you've brought it back. That's it. So one turn of lock and back one turn of lock. That's why it's important to keep your hand in the same position. Don't let it you know, swing around so you don't know where your hand is. And consequently, you don't know where the wheels are pointed. So I'll repeat that. Your hand stays at seven o'clock permanently. So you swing it that way and then swing it back. And that's how you know that you're pointing straight ahead. So that's with the steering. And yeah, that's the J-turn. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes man perfect or lady. In closing, I must remind you, never ever try this on a public road. Do it on a closed off road or better still a racetrack like the Kari Motor Speedway where we are at today. Next, what video would you like us to do? What tutorial would you like us to demonstrate? Drop it in the comments below and we'll put a video on it very soon. Turn back.